Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, vectors from freebie.com. After finish video, I will share project files and download links. So, for animation, I will use puppet pin and expressions. First, let's select this yellow tree and go to solo and click this icon for see background ok then go to puppet pin tool let's add one puppet here one here and one here click station tool ok and let's open mesh one and open puppet deforms ok this is puppet pin one ok so in this time let's close these settings and right mouse new let's create new null object okay click this icon for black background and move to here this null object hold control double click palm behind icon for move to anchor point center click session tool and let's move to here okay and let's change name one then control d for duplicate move to here okay let's move to down like this okay then again control D move to down nice so in this time let's unsolo and this select this null objects let's press P and move to up this work area and let's select this yellow T let's press u okay let's hold alt and click this icon for open puppet pin one expressions and i will use this expression let's select this and copy i will share this expression you can use it's free and let's go to puppet and select this expression let's delete and control v okay and let's change new layer name let's change one zero one okay for dawn expression click this empty area nice let's see select this controller let's see okay very nice and we can make animation like this okay that's good let's close this null object position settings and again hold alt click this puppet pin 2 this time icon and make someone let's control v and let's move to up scroll up and select this null layer name change 0 2 click this and click this empty area okay let's select this null object 2 let's see okay very nice and finally let's go to hold alt click this puppet pin 3 expression icon and control v scroll up and let's select this null name change 03 and click this empty title for done expression and let's see select this null tree nice very nice so close expression work area and and now we can make animation for this layer let's select this null object 1 and 2 let's press p make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard or click this time duration right here plus 10 for go to 10 keyframe click ok and let's select this null 1 Let's move to down and this move to left. Okay. And go to again 10 tree frame. And let's move right. And this move right. Go to again 10 tree frame. Move to left. And this move to left. Again go to 10 tree frame. Let's say first shape frames, control C, control V for duplicate. Let's press N, select these three frames, make easies, 
Let's see. Okay, select the keyframes, hold Alt and move to right for slow animation. Let's say again. Okay. And in this time, let's select this keyframe. Let's this keyframe. Let's move to up. Okay, that's good. So friends, let's make someone animations and someone presses for other layer. Okay, so in this time, let's make endless keyframes for loop animation. Select this all null objects, press U for C keyframes, and let's select these keyframes, hold Alt, go to this time icon for open expression, go to play button, property, and use loopout duration. For done expression, click this empty area, and let's change time duration 10 seconds. Let's right mouse and select this trim come to work area. Let's see. Okay, nice. So let's close settings and again make someone for this new object too. Hold Alt, click this time icon, go to play button, property and loop alteration. Okay, again select this layer 3 let's press u okay there is not any keyframes this is main null object okay select this layer 11 hold alt click this time icon go to play button property and loop alteration okay and make someone for this layer 22 hold alt click this time icon property and loop alteration Okay, this is again main null object and let's close keyframes. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, let's create new null object. Right mouse, new and null object and add name camera. Then hold Alt, double click palm behind icon for move anchor point center. Click session tool. Select all layers without background and let's link to camera null object. Select this camera, let's press S, make sketch frame and go to uh, 6 second, let's press N and change scale 125. Let's see. Okay, let's change last shape frame 115. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's select these layers and let's make fake parallax. Let's select this layer plant 3, press P and plant 2, press P and plant 1, press P. And make new chain frames and go to last chain frame and select this layer plant 1. Let's move it down. Let's see. Okay. And select this plant 2. Move to right. And plant 3. Move to left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select these null objects and yellow tree pink tree and let's link to layer ground select this layer ground and press P make new passing chain frame go to here and move to up like this let's see okay this is fake parallax 
and let's select this layer cloth move to here go to first second and press p let's control d move to right for duplicate control d again move to here again control d move to here okay and select these cloud layers press p make new patch in keyframe go to last keyframe and select this cloud 4 let's move to right and cloud 3 move to right and cloud 2 move to left and cloud 1 move to left let's see okay that's good so close all keyframe settings and select this cloud 4 move to behind layer t okay not bad so let's make wind lines go to pen tool and let's make wind like this clearization tool go to fill select this none for close inside fill color click ok and go to stroke width change 10 okay select this shape layer go to pen tool again let's make better line and smooth line okay this is not bad so in this time click session tool and go to add and select trim pads and open trim pads one and change end zero make end keyframe go to here change end 100 and go to back make star keyframe go to here change start 100 select keyframes make easy let's see okay nice so in this time let's make smooth line for this wind line let's open stroke one and change butt cap to round cap for this smooth line okay so let's select the shape layer change name wind line and change stroke width 5 let's see okay so select this wind line control D move to right and move to down let's see okay let's control d again move to up okay so select these wind layers let's move to behind here okay select this wind tree move to up okay nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.